What's up, everybody? Welcome to my messy game room. Okay, this is my yard sale finds for this week. Right here, I paid $15 for this Xbox 360 uh, force feedback wheel. Take a look, it's missing this side plastic thing that covers this. Um, it's also missing the power cord, so I will not have any force feedback unless I can find something that will work for this. But there it is. It's also missing the bottom piece that, you know, you could connect it to your, uh, like a table or something. But, either way, I think it's pretty cool. Can't wait to use it on some Forza. Got some panels back there. Uh, the button's all right here. Very cool. $15, not too bad. Um, also the wire that hooks it up is like a phone wire. So, uh, here's the other part that came with it. The phone wire goes into it the brake and the gas pedal so all right i want to show you guys that first now let's get into uh this thing right here i found for i think i paid five bucks for it they wanted 10 for it but i kind of got them to go down in price everything works too Came with a little plastic case there, so yeah, that was pretty cool for five bucks. I'll just slam it right there. Um, we won't get to the main games yet, but let's get to this system right here that I found. Um, let me move these things real quick. Here it is. It says fifteen dollars console and controllers, or a dollar a game, or twenty-five dollars for all. But then it says make an offer. So I made an offer for 20 bucks. Let's get to it. It's a Sega Genesis console. Here's one controller. Uh, here's controller number two with the extra buttons. I think I got like five or six of those now. And it came with a TV wire and power wire. So let me move these down. Let's get to the, I'll show you the console. Right there it is. I have like three of these now. Um, I will be getting rid of some of my video game stuff to purchase, or to get ready for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox One. Let's get to the games that came inside here. We got Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Uh, Streets of Rage 2, not for resale. Super high impact it's a football game. Contra hard. Court, uh, court three. Move this over here. Court. Okay, and then Splatterhouse 3. Shinobi 3. Dash and Desperados. Uh, Wiz and Liz. Uh, Lum Lemmings by Sunsoft. Stack these up a little bit better. Echo. The Tides of Time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles term, Tournament Fighters. And these right there. We got uh, James Buster Douglas Boxing. Lethal Enforcers 2 Gunfighters. Summer Challenge. Looks like a track and field game or something like that. Uh, what is it? Primetime football game? NFL primetime? Primetime NFL football. Taz in Escape from Mars. Sonic 2. Not for resale. The Lion King. Uh, pro quarterback. NBA Jam. And it looks like the last game in here is Hardball 94. So there you go. I don't think I'm missing any games. I did drop some before I started recording. I don't see any down there. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Not too bad for 20 bucks. <laughs> what the hell? We'll just move those right there. Alright, now let's get into the other games I bought. Actually, let's show you guys this. I paid uh, two dollars for it. Check them out. It's Yoshi with a little remote control. I know I've never seen one of these before. It turns out these are like exclusive toys for Target, I think. So there's Yoshi. It came with a little manual. Here's the controller for him. 
So let's. You got to point this at him, I guess, and press forward. Backward, let me. Pretty awesome, huh, guys? And this little button right here is a boost. Save you get like a, a a mushroom or something. Watch, I'll press it. You'll see. Boom. There you went. Let me try going this way and I'll press it. All right. I don't know if you can really tell, but he did pick up speed. Very cool for uh, two dollars. So I'm gonna stick it right there. Let's get to the games I got. These were all a dollar, and this one was actually sealed. So Galandor. For Game Boy Advance, Arthur and the Invisibles, the guy. This one's sealed too. I don't know if the guy resealed it himself. So, uh, Gumby versus the Astrobots. This game was a dollar, and it's RBI Baseball for the Nintendo. Uh, this one was a dollar, and it's Big Mother Truckers for the Game Boy Advance. We'll just stick that one right there. I paid a dollar for this guy, but this guy had a surprise in it. Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron. Yeah. So the game is in here, but guess what else is in here? A Wi-Fi R4 upgrade revolution for the DS. This is very cool. I haven't tested it out yet. Haven't had enough time. Um, it's it's basically like where you can have mod your whatever your uh, Nintendo thing. Um. And you could add more games to it, I think. So let's take look, like look right here. Somebody had an eight gig SD micro card in there. So I'm assuming it's loaded with games. I'm still gonna try it out, and I'll let you guys know in a future episode what was all on there. Next game was a dollar fifty. It's DT Racer. Pretty cool. Don't have this racing game yet for the PlayStation 2. It is complete. Let me move these back a little bit more. Okay, then we got IR, uh, IHRA Drag Racing Sportsman Edition. Very cool. Don't have this game yet either. Well, now I do. Uh, we got Shadow the Hedgehog. Boom. Spent quite a bit on the games, but, you know, that's how I roll. Let's just do PS2 first. Right here we got Metal Gear Solid 2. I do own this one already. But, oh well. We got another Black Twisted Metal black label edition for ps2 complete jacks 3 for ps2 the game is complete these games were all basically 99 cents except for the ones i tell you were a little bit different this one ghost recon island thunder very cool and this one is for Xbox One. It's Goth uh, Project Gotham uh, Racing 2. Pretty awesome. Game is not complete and it's in a blockbuster case. This game I paid $1 for. It's for the PS3. It's Virtual Tennis 3. No manual, no nothing, but it is in a PS3 case. So, very cool. Now, these are my Xbox. Oh, wait, no. Okay, hold on. Uh, we got this game right here for 50 cents, WWE Attitude, thank you Grant. This game is complete. Very cool. Another PS2 game right here, it says $2, but I paid a dollar for it also, it's Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Made by Midway. The game is not complete, also looks like it has some kind of uh, coating on there, like it belonged to a movie store rental place. These three games right here are sealed. And they were a dollar each, so very awesome. This one is the heist, the betrayal, the revenge, the plan. Ooh, so let's take a look at the back real quick. Go ahead and pause it if you have to. All right. Uh oh, I just dropped the game. Next game is Trigger Man. This one is sealed also. Never even heard of it. And it's made by Crave entertainment next sealed game is king of fighters 11 this one is sealed also so there's a look at the back looks like a side scrolling fighting game okay um 
think that's it for those. Let's get to my Xbox 360 finds. First game is F1 2011. There's a little code there. Looks like it's complete. There's a look at the back of the game. Very cool. I love racing games. Next game is Kingdom Under Fire Circle of Doom. Awesome. Complete. It even has some kind of, what is this, uh, 48 hours of gold. And it's not you guys. Look at that. 48 hours. Ooh, two day trial of Xbox Live Gold Trial. Next game is Dead to Rights. Very cool. Halo Combat Evolved. That's Xbox One. Both of these two are. Okay, here we go with Xbox 360. It's Saints Row. It says $4 by pay 2 Game is not complete, but what the hell. It's Saints Row, right? And the last game I got wrestling fans was $2. And it is WWE All-Stars. Let's take a look. I do not own this wrestling game yet, so pretty awesome. Uh, Hulk Hogan's getting an attitude adjustment. The game is complete, so that means it's time to party. Let me show you a couple little action figures I got real quick. Here's the old school Bart Simpson, so that's pretty awesome. I'm not sure when he was made. Let me take a look. 94. So I'll put him right there by Yoshi. Um, I found a white Power Ranger for a quarter. I found this male stripper right here for a quarter also. Um... I don't know, I kind of like did some research on him and he's from like the the He-Man era, but I don't think it's He-Man. Anyway, right here's Batman for a quarter. Pretty cool. Still sealed up in this plastic thing. Um, what else did I find? Let me show you guys real quick. We got a black Iron Man. Um, he's kind of funky right now. We got a red Power Ranger, one of these head flipping ones. There you go. Looks like you guys. Hi. Hi, how are you guys doing? Okay, and uh, I bought this thing because it seemed pretty interesting. It's a uh, Rad Rollers for a dollar. Uh, check it out. WWF. There's the Ultimate Warrior. And if you look at these marbles, that one has Hulk Hogan. This one has Jake the Snake. Macho Man. Uh, the Big Boss Man's in there somewhere. The Million Dollar Man. And the last one is the Ultimate Warrior. There he is. Boat. So yeah, that was a dollar. Um, let me show you. Oh yeah, I also got this transformer right here. It's it was one dollar. It's a battery operated one. Piece. Look, it makes noises once in a while. I think the batteries are dead in it. Unsure of his name. So, but it's still very cool to be. Uh, getting these bad boys. Watch this. If you move his head inward, he does a sound. Okay, now watch when it comes out. Listen. Oops. Hold on. Okay, listen. You didn't do it. Oh, there it is. Nice. You see his eyes glow up and everything. Pretty cool. So I'm very happy with my steering wheel that I found. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm sorry if I missed anything in this video. But we will see you guys in the gods.